hello everyone and welcome to another video in today's video we are going to know how to install the primavera before that we will know we will try to download the primavera for free so most of the times i found students that they usually do not get access to primavera sometimes they can't even download the primavera and whenever they download after downloading they face uh, various issues while installing the primavera so in today's video i will show you how to download the latest version of primavera for free and then how to install the primavera so the version of primavera we are going to install or first download and then install today is uh, the latest version of primavera uh, which is uh, being updated in i guess december 2020 so the first and most important thing you need to do is if you have no account on oracle just create an account on oracle right so for that you need this information you need to put your email address create a password and then your country name your first name and last name your job title workplace you need to fill out all these options and then create account as i already have account i will just sign in so after creating account you need to just you so after creating your account when you sign in uh, before that you will get an email for verification uh, to your email address which you have mentioned while creating your account right through that link when you click on that link you it will take you to the sign in page after signing in with your ID and password you will go to the download section let's log in again uh, okay when you click on sign in it will take you to this page okay so on this page as you can see that there are a few points if you want to read them read them out otherwise if you go to the this drop down you will see four different options from this you need to click on download package and in the download package you need to write down uh, the name of the software what you need to write let me just just copy it and then primavera p6 professional project management okay I'll copy this in the search bar and then I'll click on search so it will show you few options right Primavera P6 professional project management click on this after searching you will get various options to download the Primavera but the primavera which i downloaded was in the primavera which has been published in 2020 december 2020 so i will recommend you to also to download this one because i am not sure about uh, 21 and 2022 20, either they are uh, free to download or not but i am sure about 2020 so you need to just click on this one it has been added to your cart so after that it's here just follow the mouse cursor it has been added to this one so after that you need to click on continue once you click on continue you can see here are two files one is primavera p6 project management uh, software or setup application and then second file is just 62.9 kb this is the project ma management documentation show so you need to check on these two boxes after that click on continue and then if you want to read out all these uh, uh, 
agreement points or terms and conditions you can go through them otherwise you can just click on the box and then press continue here is a feedback if you want you can answer this question otherwise you can just cross it and then click on the download before clicking on download just check out either the all, all the boxes are being uh, marked or not if not just mark them all after that just click on download when you click on download you will get all these folders in the form of uh, compressed files so after uh, getting all these folders you just need to extract them all and then you can see that this folder is 64.2 uh, kb this one is 64 mb this one is 105 mb this one is 345 mb so you need to go to this 345 mb extract it here and then this is the option <coughs> p6 professional setup you just need to click on this option so after clicking there the first thing you will see let me zoom in okay the first thing after clicking on the setup the first thing you will see is this screen so from these two options typical and advanced you need to select typical and then click on ok then when you click on ok you will see this screen here you need to click on the install button after clicking on the installation button you will see this page on this page you just need to check on this one uh, line which is run database configuration just click on this box and there is no need to click on the other three boxes after clicking on this press ok when you click on the ok button you will get a separate screen for all these three options okay in one case in other case you can get all these points on single screen okay so the thing you need to know is that the first thing is select driver type wherever it uh, asks you to select the driver type you need to select this one fourth option pc p6 pro stand alone sq light you need to select this option right from this drop down for driver type you need to select pc p6 pro standalone sql light after selecting this click next and <clears throat> between these two options you need to select add a new standalone database and connection okay and then click on next after that you need to create your password and login name most of the time uh, you can keep same login and password and personal name so it makes things easier for you to remember so in my case I placed everything same login name admin personal name admin password is admin again password is admin so and in this box there is no need to change anything just placing your password and login name and personal name just go, go to the next step and place, uh, press the next key after that in this screen there is one important thing you need to note you need to uncheck this box load sample data before clicking next button you need to uncheck this box if it is checked you need to uncheck it then press next after clicking the next button you are done your uh, connection is successful and now now you can <coughs> write in your search bar primavera p6 and then after installation you will get a screen like this here you can uh, uh, login by using your login name and password and then click on the connect
here you can press OK that's it we got the Primavera it's not the latest version latest version is 2022 but I have installed and I have shown how to how to install the 2020 version of Primavera P6 Professional so <coughs> for this you need two things the first thing is you need to create account on Oracle and and the second thing is after downloading the free version from the Oracle you need to follow the steps which I have shown so for further assistance I will also share the link of mm, this Oracle website and this website too because here on this website the author has shown all the steps how to uh, create the account on Oracle and then how to install the Primavera after downloading it from Oracle's website so I think that's it for today let me know if there is any issue you can ask me in comments see you guys in next video till then goodbye